Life, get Misty putting the kids to bed, and then you come back and make some big announcement? Forget about it. I'm not going to give you up like that. He had you for five years. I had you for five months. It's not your decision. But it's not yours either. Doesn't matter what you decide anyway. You've washed your hands of me a dozen times, probably a dozen times a day, and you're still here. Now, how can you be so blind to yourself? Now, what the hell do you want? What do you want me to say? I lie in bed. I don't know what the hell you want. I have nothing to give you anymore. When you were sick and you needed me, that, that I could do. Oh, it was more than that. Don't insult the both of us. You know, I never said I was willing to give up my life for you, and I'm not. You've already started to. No. Leaving was Cruz's decision. I didn't want him to go. I tried to stop him. All right, everything's somebody else's decision with you, isn't it? What happened to you? My God! I mean, you used to be so brave and proud and free. Now the only way you let you get is anywhere near what you really want is to close your eyes real tight and reach for it. You know, I am so sick of people telling me what I am and what I used to be. What I am, it's not an accident. I'm still strong and I'm still proud, but I've seen where your particular brand of freedom leads and I'm not impressed. Has it made you happy, Robert? You think I'm too afraid to grab what I want. Well, maybe I already have. You want me. You just forgot how much room I take up. Or maybe I realize I don't have it to spare.